according to different researchers, in upcoming 25 years, in Europe will disappear 30% of existing today jobs, which means that we just will not have these jobs. And we see very clearly that uh, level of digital skills will become the ground of new social division. These people who are not good with all kinds of devices, so to say, will be just uh, thrown away from the labor market. And this is really sad and we have to, we have to prepare for it. I'm a former journalist uh, and I'm a Russian speaker from Estonia, uh, which means that uh, I'm standing for rights of minority languages, all kind of minority schools and so on and so forth. Uh, but I'm a member of three committees, uh, Committee of uh, Culture, of Petitions and uh, of Employment. according to different researchers, in upcoming 25 years, in Europe will disappear 30% of existing today jobs, which means that we just will not have these jobs. And we see very clearly that uh, level of digital skills will become the ground of new social division. These people who are not good with all kinds of devices, so to say, will be just uh, thrown away from the labor market. And this is really sad and we have to, we have to prepare for it. Uh, of course, European Union and European Parliament and European Commission has proposed several long strategies, let's say. We have digital action plan, but these uh, things are developing so fast that if we're still implementing digital action plan, which was uh, introduced five years ago, we are implemented it, but it is already outdated, which means that we have to be faster and, of course, we have to prepare our uh, students to learn how to learn entire their life. To get out from this old paradigm that you go to university, you get a diploma and you work at the same place for 45 years. It will never happen again. I mean, we have, we have to, uh, to uh, learn new things during our life. Uh, some of them are less protected and some of them are not less protected. If we're speaking about the second job, for instance, if you are, I don't know, working like a counter uh, 40 hours a week and then you have second job when you, I don't know, drive Uber, you are protected. Uh, but of course, of course, it's a challenge. A precarious job is, uh, is not a very, very good thing. But first we have to look how it, how it works, I mean, if we're speaking about platform economy and then regulate it, not, not, not vice versa. Sometimes in European Union we are trying to regulate things which are still in development and uh, thus we are protecting them from, from growing big, so to say. Uh, this is a problem and we are dealing with this problem, I would say non-stop. Uh, like two years ago we adopted, uh, we created a platform to combat undeclared work and this was also about precarious work. Uh, but uh, there are several obstacles and one of them is that we have subsidiarity principle in the European Union, which means that each member state is regulating these things itself. But we are, uh, we are exchanging best practices and we are trying to solve this problem. We were just discussing it with my uh, assistants. And I said that I'm not that sure that it's very important to go vote, just to go vote for vote, which is really important uh, uh, to go vote and to make your choice, uh, I mean, not just, not just to do it. We have to do it consciously. I'm, I'm, I'm in favor of, I don't know, informed voting.